you know, game sevens can be very agonizing. Um, you know, having two days off, you know, going into it, and think about everything that you need to do. Like this team, we knew them uh, from some backwards, and uh, it was really just about the effort that we put out there and uh, things that we need to do and the losses. We've seen what we did uh, not so well. And the wins, you know, we played you know, the way we need to play and the way we are, who we are, we showed who we are as a team. So tonight was kind of a mix of both. Uh, it's game seven. Anything can happen. And I, I thought that, you know, regardless of what was going on during the game, we still continued to fight. And, you know, our resolve was pretty good tonight. Do you look up at any point and say, can you let one go in, please? I, I say that all the time. But, <laughs> you know, but. It, uh, yeah, I had some great looks tonight. Probably the best that I've seen uh, so far in the postseason. Um, and, uh, you, I think about it all the time. Wish you had, wish I had them back. Uh, but you know, they go in when they count. You know, it's almost like you know, I need the fourth quarter for that. You know, I love to get to that point and focus in a little bit more. But you know, again, they, they go in when they count. They when they count it. And you know, the guys on this team, Rob uh, made big plays down the stretch. Bass made big plays down the stretch. Kevin made big plays down the stretch. It was unfortunate Paul got the foul trouble. Um, but all the guys are ready. And I'm very optimistic about you know, the direction they're headed. Ray, can you talk about some of those big shots and Rondo's willingness to take them down the stretch? Uh, he, he had he had uh, a confidence in him that I haven't seen. Um, just uh, when they started fouling, he wanted the ball. He wanted to go to the free throw line. And... Uh, we got some great free throw shoes on the team, but you know he, he was ready for it, and uh, you can see his, his maturity, his growth, uh, and him as a, as a player, you know, making those shots down the stretch, and you know it does, you know it poses different problems for teams, and uh, you know it's good to see. Right, looking when looking you're ahead to Miami, there. looking ahead to Miami, what is the key to stopping the Heat? Uh, they're a team that you know they they. We will lose in track meet. You know, this team, they, you know, they get up and down the floor. Uh, they they want to score in transition. Uh, they they pride themselves off of getting easy baskets, and you know, that's something that um, you know defensively we have to get back. Uh, but offensively, you know, we can't play with the ball. We can't turn the ball over. Um, we cannot execute our offense. You know, you take long shots and the bike gets back. Uh, they get those easy buckets. And, they're hard to, hard to stop there. And then, um, you know, we have to score offensively. You know, we have to attack them just the same. When you're, when you're going into those last two, threes, and four, how much are you 